Hi everyone, my name is Haley Worrell and I'm with the Arizonans for Transparency and Accountability of Corrections, or ATAC. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our new video series that is coming out called We Are Just One Family. I started this video series that I'm going to be discussing today because I saw a need for sharing the stories of family members and their loved ones that have been incarcerated and have experienced injustice. My husband was wrongly convicted and sentenced to 12 years in the Arizona Department of Corrections and he's currently served about two years of that sentence. Just from the two years that he's been in there, I have seen and heard of enormous injustices that have occurred under the Department of Corrections Watch and I knew that something should be able to be done. Some kind of awareness needs to come from this. So when I joined ATAC, I loved their mission and I supported it wholeheartedly. I knew that something was needed and it wasn't until I found out about oversight and independent oversight that I knew that that was the solution. Every problem and every injustice that has happened in the department can be helped with oversight. ATAC supports comprehensive legislation that will create an office of an independent ombudsman and a citizen-led oversight committee. That means this legislation will create transparency and accountability in this $1.3 billion agency. So on November 24th, 2021, at 6 p.m., we're going to be launching the premiere of our We Are Just One family videos. These videos mean a lot to me because it is so crucial that families and people all around our state realize the problems that are happening within our system, the injustices that are happening to loved ones. And this is a unique opportunity because you don't have to experience the tragedy to be able to understand it, to be able to see it happening. We have families that are all over Arizona that have spoken out and participated in these video series that tell you all of the gruesome and terrible details of the injustices that have occurred to their loved ones. Before I experienced this injustice through the eyes of my husband and watching him and hearing him experience all these tragedies. I didn't know that it existed and I think that's an important part of this video series is that you get to hear from families all over the state of Arizona that have experienced injustice or their loved ones have experienced injustice and you can get that first-hand knowledge without experiencing it for yourself because experiencing it is traumatic and it is terrible and it is one of the most awful things a human being can go through. You will be able to see the department's failure to remedy any of these injustices. You will see the department's failure to implement health services, mental health services, medical health services. You will see the department's failure to make readily available drug and alcohol abuse treatments and instead allow drug and alcohol use throughout the prisons to keep occurring. Through this video series, you will see instances of abuses that have occurred in the Department of Corrections, assaults, and even the tragic and unfortunate death that could have been avoided had the department taken steps to avoid these things from happening. You will see all of these issues come to light in personal stories from this video series. I hope that you take those personal experiences and use it to inform how you think about our justice system, how you think about our prison system. With an over $1.3 billion budget, injustices like this should not be occurring. The Department of Corrections has funds for food, for health care, for mental health care, for drug and alcohol abuse programs, for operational funds, and yet injustices in these areas occur every single day. The only way to make this better to make this terrible situation better and to bring justice for the victims of the prison system is to bring independent oversight over the Department of Corrections. So please join us on November 24th, 2021 at 6 p.m. to see the first video premiere.